Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to another DIY project and unboxing and review. As you can see here, this comes from my people store Amazon and I wanted to show how it came. It came in a square box like this and this video is going to be on using under cabinet LED light bars. This is the six bar kit. I think it'll be nice and bright enough for my 55 gallon aquarium. I got rid of this older model and I'll show you the picture of that right now. That's what I used to have on my tank and it was kind of bulky and cumbersome every time I wanted to take it apart. I have some issues with um, carrying stuff right now. So I needed something that was a little more lightweight and smaller profile that I could use and would give me a nice illumination on my tank and and I opted with these light bars which are I believe 6500k which is more of the higher white spectrum maybe a little bluish in it which is fine for aquarium fish I want to give that pop for my tank so this came from Amazon I will put two links in at the end of the description page on YouTube of where you can get these this is the upgraded version and I'll tell you what the difference is but you will be able to get them from ebay also but i thought this was nice the way they shipped it from amazon with this square box and then it also comes in this round tube which is really nice to protect everything in shipping so to come like that you take it off this is unboxing right now as you see it i haven't taken it out yet and see how long they are they're 48 inches you could use this on bigger tanks if you wanted to and here's all the connectors it comes with these plastic electrical connectors and also some clips and i'll do a close-up on them later it has three power cords that come with this kit which i also like that to also with the on and off switches i don't know if i'm going to use all six of them but they are linkable to where you can add all those lights in a link if you wanted to they're mainly used for shop lighting they're wrapped in this clear cellophane to protect them and there's also linkable cords in here to where you can link those together like i originally said there's the ends of the connectors to where the cords are going to go and link and they have the connector ports on both sides of the tube so we'll go ahead and we'll unwrap these they've got a shrink wrap here and in this six kit you're also going to get one two three four five of these linkable cords and they are quite long look to be about maybe 18 inches i'll double check that when we do our close-up but that's nice they're nice and long so that'll give you a nice amount of distance that you can spread them out if you wanted to spread them out on your larger aquariums you could like i said these are the 48 inch models they do make smaller models up to like i think maybe 12 14 36 inch depending on what size your aquarium is it would work out great now the reason why i went with this upgraded model supposedly they're upgraded is i'll show you the difference comes with like a small owner's manual here it really small actually it just tells you the name of the company is hyper giant tube light i guess that's the original manufacturer and if you're familiar with buying chinese made products this might be the original manufacturer and then everybody stamps their name to it so this could be called hundreds of different names but this might be the original actual manufacturer called hyper giant that's h-y-p-e-r-g-i-n-t it says linkable t5 tube light 2200 lumen 6500 k daylight and it's supposed to draw 20 watts so this is the equivalent of a 20 watt light bulb 85 to 265 volts c-e-r-o-h-s certified it has an aluminum housing here with a round plastic lens to protect the leds don't know if i can pull it off we'll see without breaking it plastic on the ends on the end cap and i can take it off there you go now you can see all the LED lights that are in there. Light emitting diodes that run the whole length of the bar, which is nice. There's no gaps. That should give us nice even lighting throughout the whole entire aquarium because 55 gallons are roughly 48 inches long. So if you see these advertised and they say these are the upgraded model, the reason why they're saying they're upgraded is because supposedly instead of a plastic housing here, you get the aluminum. This is aluminum. So I can confirm that. Also, it was a little more flatter on this side here. It's not completely round. So that's supposed to be different too. Now for us with using these uh, for aquariums, that's nice because they'll lay flat on our glass tops or or on our homemade lids so this will project light down into the tank so that's the reason why i went with this upgraded version as for the leds from what i've read there's no difference when it comes to that when they when they say they're updated just the housing itself so that will sit and rest right on top they'll lay flat right on there like that it does rock a little bit but it will stay right on there 
whereas the other ones are round and they'll flip around and you, or you have to attach it with the clip that comes in the kit to the top of a to a canopy or you have to make your own canopy comes with this kit with the clips like we talked about okay and we'll lay them out there and they'll go right in there like this and they snap right onto the bar like that and then it comes with screws and those screws will go right into whatever you're screwing it into now this review can also be for not just for aquariums but uh we'll make it for people that want to use it for a shop light also these are kind of thin pop metal type of clips so if they get spread out you can just spring them back in longevity wise um i imagine they would hold up you're just going to have to make sure that you have those screws in to either a nice anchor in your ceiling if you're using it for drywall or try to get into a joist. Every one of these bags has a link connector. If you wanna just push the bars together, they will link in like that with the power connector right there. They'll just link right in together and you can put all six together or break them up with those with the extension cords that are supplied with the kit. Let me go ahead and take one of these out. So there is the rocker for on and off. It's just a two wire cord. So you have your hot and your neutral cord. And there's the connector that will plug right into here for power. Pretty simple to put in there. Just work it in. And it's got a nice snug tight fit. So I'm gonna give you some basic measurements. They do measure 46 and a quarter. Maybe that's Chinese math. <laughs> Not being funny, but when they say 48 inches, you would think they're 48 inches. But for us, or for this application, using it for an aquarium, that's fine because if it's 48, that gives you just that would give you just a little bit of play. So that's fine. The linkable cords are measuring from end to end, 19 and a half inches, and actual cord length, about 17 inches in between the connectors. So it gives you 17 inches of play to put those lights wherever you want to put them. Little plastic connectors, like I said, they're just gonna be run right together. They're roughly three quarter and they will come in a little tighter once you put them together. And the power cords are measuring about 60 inches, which is five foot. So let me black out the room and we'll go ahead and see how bright they are. So this is as dark as I can make this room. It is in daytime. I will show it on the tank once it's installed, but here we go. We'll go ahead and switch this on. Ooh, that's pretty bright. And the whole bar itself is illuminated. So here you can see three of them linked up and they basically wash out the room with light. They're so bright they're probably washing out the camera. I'll show you the difference here. They're instant on. I had them on for a while now and they're not real hot to the touch like a fluorescent tube light would be. So that should be sufficient for a room that you're trying to light up or aquarium. So hey, this basically is the difference between the two models I was, as I was trying to explain. These are the newer models and it has a flat spot here on the bottom, all, like all the other ones do, and it has a round spot, but it's a little flatter up here like I showed how it sat. These were the older models. They were completely round, like a horseshoe on top, and they won't sit up for our application for aquariums. Now, if you tuned into this video for just shop lights and you're fine because your clips are going to go in here they're going to hang up against your ceiling flat and you won't have any problem so hey thanks for watching um so this concludes the first part of this video for people that want to use these um for just shop lights or you know to supplement your lighting in a room or something like that you could even bail out of here if you want, you aquarium people. Um, you have the idea. If you want to go into a little more in depth about the aquarium portion of it, I'm going to have a second video I'm going to post up, and it's going to show you the actual application on the aquarium. I don't want to run this one up more, much longer than it has to be for the people that really weren't into the aquarium review of this product. So hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. That subscribe button's down at the bottom of the page. Go ahead and click that. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Um, share with your friends. Take care.